Sure, what's up guys, I just built another awesome bluetooth speaker and this one more than just a speaker. It features a sleek FFT visualizer that reacts to your music in real time and you can even use it horizontally for a different setup. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the build. It all started when I stumbled upon these speaker drivers laying around my junk pile. They are some pretty high quality 10 watt drivers and I thought why not turn them into something unique. So I grabbed my measuring tools, took some precise dimensions and fired up Fusion C60 to start designing. After a bit of tweaking and creativity, here's what I came up with. The design looks sleek and I'm excited to see it come to life. Let's kick off the printing process and get these parts printed. Alright guys, the 3D printing is done and all the parts turns out great. Now let's grab the remaining electronics we need for this project. Obviously we have the drivers, then we have this amplifier board, it's a 15 plus 15 watt serial amp. Next we got 5x5 LED matrix panel, we'll be using 3 of these in total. Finally we have our microcontroller, the ESP32C6 from Waveshare. It's definitely overkill for this project but it's what I got on my hand so we are rolling with it. We have got almost all the parts ready so let's jump into the assembly. First, we'll connect the matrix panel together to form a wide 15 by 5 display. The matrix panel is assembled so now let's go ahead and install it at the front of the case, right alongside the drivers. Alright guys, we have successfully completed the front of the speaker and it's looking awesome. Now it's time to shift our focus to the back panel. For this part, we'll need a few more components, a DC input socket, a slide switch for power on off and a push button to switch between visualizer modes. Let's go ahead and complete that right away. Alright, the back panel is all set, now let's move on to the amplifier connections. This part is pretty straightforward since everything is clearly labeled on the board. Now things get a little more complicated, the amplifier runs on 12V but our microcontroller only needs 5V, so we'll use a volt regulator. To keep this video from getting too long or boring, I won't go through every single wire on camera. Instead, here is the wiring diagram I came up with, I followed it exactly while making all the connections. With all the wiring done, we are ready for the next step, uploading the code to the board. Here is the code, nothing fancy, just upload it and you are good to go. The code is uploaded, now before the final assembly, let's talk about today's sponsor, LTM. If you are into electronics and PCB design like me, you have probably heard of LTM Designer. It's one of the most powerful tools out there for bringing your ideas to life. From schematics to layout, it's got everything you need. But what really sets it apart is LTM 365. It moves your entire design process to the cloud so you can access your project from anywhere, collaborate with your team in real time and even manage component without ever leaving the platform. You can comment on specific part of the design and sync changes instantly with your team or manufacturer. It's like having a smarter, more connected workflow for your electronics. 
Check out the link in the description to start your free trial and get 25% off. Now back to the video, let's get everything installed and bring this project to life. Alright guys, the speaker is finally done and honestly it looks pretty awesome. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I can't wait to see in action so let's power it up and check out the magic. Okay guys, as you can see, it's working really well. You can toggle between vertical and horizontal visualizer modes using the push button or even turn off the visualizer off completely if you want. The sound is decent, not amazing but definitely workable. It could be improved by adding a passive radiator. The best part of this speaker, you can use this speaker vertically or horizontally to match your vibe. That's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the build process as much as I enjoyed putting it together. Got questions or suggestions, don't be shy, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I will catch you another one. Until then, bye bye.